So in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the midpoint relationship and it's a sketch relation that we're going to establish and to get there what we're going to do is we're going to add something to our hinge plate model and we're going to add a little tab to it. So the tab is going to be going in the up direction up here uh, going towards uh, or away from the top plane and we could do that one of two ways. We could actually, actually just sketch it on that surface or we can sketch it on the top surface and this is going to be our front surface. So let's do the front surface first. Let's go ahead and uh, select in that. And we're going to do this two different ways. Go to view orientation. We could either do front or we could do normal too, as long as we have that uh, selected. So now you can see that in, in its place. So if we select on this uh, in a precursor to uh, putting a sketch uh, entity in there, we're going to go to corner rectangle. So now we're going to start uh, on this uh, edge. And if you take your cursor, which should look like a pencil and then the icon uh, reference into uh, the corner rectangle, uh, you should see that. And as we approach that edge over here, we're going to get a preview in yellow of that coincident sketch relation, which is good. We're going to sketch that out, kind of like this, and we're going to drop it arbitrarily in the location over here. We're going to exaggerate that a little bit. So the desire here is how do we get that in the middle? If we were to take uh, you know, this point over here or maybe this edge over here and move it around, it's not really in the middle. We want it to be centered in the middle. So how do you do that? Well, you do that by selecting two objects and you make those uh, midpoint to each other. So one of the objects you can select is probably this line. You have to select the midpoint off of them, uh, one of them first. If you click on that line, you'll see midpoint actually kind of shows up there and it's kind of an orange when you select to put your cursor over it, but if you select that midpoint you know, with the control key depressed, select on that edge, you can go over here to midpoint. So let's try the, that again. You rest your cursor over that line, select the midpoint of that line, select that edge over here, and now be cut. Now we have the intersection as a choice down here because we selected two lines and a midpoint, an edge, a line, and a midpoint. So we don't really want to do that. So let's try that again. Line, not really select that line, but let's rest our cursor over that line until the midpoint shows up and try to select that. Once you do that, now it's green, the line isn't showing, but the midpoint of that line is. And now select this edge, we'll get a shortcut menu that comes up here, and we want to make midpoint. And conversely, we can go over here to our properties manager and do the same thing, but shortcut menu doesn't last very long. Let's go to the properties manager over here and select midpoint. So there we have it. Let's look at our sketch relations that we have so far. We have coincident over here in the corner, which is where we planned at the beginning of that rectangle. We have two verticals, two horizontals, and two midpoints. Uh, the midpoints uh, refer to the same thing, so midpoint of the line to the midpoint of that edge. And now we're ready to go. So if we stretch this out, symmetric, right at the midpoint. So let's build our model a little bit. Let's put a dimension on the side over here. Let's maybe make that half an inch. Now let's make that uh, maybe two inches. And now we're going to extrude it. So if we go to features and go to extruded boss space, we want to make sure we go off in the right direction with the middle mouse button to press. I rotated that around a little bit. Let's uh, change the direction up here and go off in this direction. We're going to make that a quarter of an inch. So that's one way of doing it. That puts in that tab. But another way of doing that is uh, we can actually sketch in the top up here. So let's do this. Let's take our boss extrude to right click on that. Let's suppress that and get that out of the way. And uh, the reason I'm showing you this is I'm showing you an alternative to doing the very same thing. What you're going to get is the same mass properties and same center of mass by doing this yet another way. But yet it uh, it's, uh, gives you the results that are the same. So we're going to click on this face. Let's go ahead and make that normal too. And sometimes I use the, the N key as my shortcut for the normal. And we're going to go ahead and sketch the front. So sketch. We could do a uh, center rectangle just uh, to be a little bit different. And we could uh, select that surface in here and sketch this out. And then when we get down to that line down there, we can make that uh, coincident. And just like before, uh, we don't have that midpoint relationship in here, but we can establish that. So let's go ahead and click on that point, or as an alternative to that, let's right click on that line and go to select midpoint. And with the control key to press, select on that edge. And now we're going to make that midpoint here too. So I believe our dimensions were a quarter of an inch in this direction, two inches here, 
and now we're going to extrude it. So let's uh, turn our model a little bit with the middle mouse button depressed. And we're going to go to features, extrude to boss space. And I believe this was, uh, what was it, half an inch, I think, to make that tab. If we go to the green check mark, now we have that same tab. So we can take this one, unsuppress it. Oops, puts it in the same position. We're going to take that one, and we're going to suppress it, and it comes back. So what happened there? So if we unsuppress this one, it kind of go on, it goes off to the side. So let's see what that's all about. If we right-click on Sketch 5, it's being uh, quite literal to uh, what we're asking it to do. And it, with uh, that edge over here, what remains of that edge over here, it chose the midpoint of that edge. So it didn't quite give us uh, exactly what we're looking for. But then again, if we took away that original feature, it's okay with that again. So if we took a uh, boss extrude number two and suppress that and put that back. But the bottom line is, is that's how you do your midpoint sketch relation. Come back more. We're going to be talking more about some sketch relations here in a bit. And then we'll go from there.